Welcome to this video. Another rapid game. And we have a Scandinavian defense, so let's take you on d5 and play it in the usual way. You know, like now knight c3 to attack the queen, and we win sometimes. So queen to a5, queen d8, queen d6 sometimes are the normal moves. Um, but let's see how black plays. I mean, he has just a provisional rating, so we don't know if this player is good or not so good. This move um, leads us, or leads me to the impression that it's not a very good player because the queen is certainly not good here on e6. It's just, you know, in the way of the bishop and I can attack it later on rather easy. So um, the question here is just if I should play knight e2 or bishop e2. I don't want to exchange queens. Um, with a knight on e2, I still have the option maybe to put the knight to f4 attacking the queen. Um, I mean, I really like the bishop to be on c4 later on. Um, knight e2, bishop e2. I think it played uh, just, you know, in the way that I can castle quickly short and next move will likely be d4 to threaten d5 also. And I will, you know, just develop my pieces. So you will see that this queen on e6 will be in trouble soon. So yeah. b6. Yeah, the idea is uh, is good because I mean he had problems with the bishop on c8 to develop, so now he can uh, bring the bishop to b7 attacking g2 maybe. But he is also a bit slow here on the king's side. Uh, what I can do is playing d4 maybe. And if he plays b7, I just play d5. This is one option. Um, but after d4, he maybe plays knight uh, bishop to a6, and I can't cannot play you know knight f3 that easy because he just takes here and this doesn't look too good. I think I just you know develop here my knight. So I have a lot of options. I'm flexible. I can think about playing d3 or d4. Everything is good. I mean, casting short rook e1 is already very dangerous for him because after rook e1, I already threatened bishop b5 check, and the the queen will be you know will disappear from the board. Knight to c6. Mm. So now d4 d5 is a huge threat already. I think I play this. So he needs to take care about d5 now. Bishop a6 doesn't help, d5 anyway. Wow, yeah, so d5, I'm already winning a piece. Mm. If he's taking here on d1, I don't care. I just take back with the bishop. Um, yeah, just castle. My, my king is safe on the king's side. 
and what I can do is also you know playing something like knight away and then bishop to f3 now he, he's moving the queen again so um, I mean one move two moves three moves four moves he played nine moves and four of them were with the queen so this cannot be good so I can already you know attack the queen by playing knight g5 or knight d4 but what I prefer is you know the idea I mentioned a bit earlier so now I'm threatening bishop b5 check and if he plays bishop d7 or whatever I can just take here the queen so essentially he has to move the queen again or playing you know bishop d7 or c6 maybe hmm wow yeah so bishop to b5 check I have another cute idea. I mean, if he played king f7, I also had, you know, knight g5. Takes, takes, queen f3 check. The, bish the rook is also, you know, not protected. Mm, here, I mean, he even lo loses more than if he played king f7 because he cannot take back the, the rook here. So I just take the queen. Now I'm threatening knight to c7. Here I think I just play queen to d5, attacking the rook, protecting my rook, threatening a lot of dangerous things here hmm I would like to checkmate him here as quick as possible yeah this doesn't help I mean I can take the rook now I can insert the check here first. So let's see, where do I put my rook? Mm. Is it already made here? So rook f6. He needs to take with the king, queen e6, check. That's it, right? Looks like a mate. I mean, I have time, so 12 minutes, exactly. So I like the move, you know, um, rook f6. And rook f6, it's a double check. So the king has no move despite taking the rook on f6. And after f6, I play queen to e6. And this is checkmate. Yeah, thanks for watching.